on November 30th, 1954. A quick nap didn't go as planned for Anne Hodges, who was suddenly awoken by one of the most unlikely scenarios. A meteor hit her. A nine pound meteorite came through the ceiling of her house and bounced off a radio before hitting her in the thigh. It left a deep bruise, but she was relatively unharmed except a thigh injury. This was the first instance of an extraterrestrial object having injured a person. The earliest claim of a person being hit by a meteorite comes from 1677, in a manuscript published at Tortona, Italy, which tells of a Milanese friar who was killed by one, although its veracity is unknown. In 1992, a small meteorite fragment of only about 3 grams hit a young Ugandan boy in Mabale. It had been slowed by a tree and caused no injury. While we almost never think about being struck by a meteorite, NASA chief scientist James Green said in a 2013 congressional hearing that the odds of a near-Earth object causing casualties is very small, but the potential consequences are so large it makes sense to take the risk seriously. An asteroid of only 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter that struck the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico is widely accepted to have been the cause for the mass extinction of dinosaurs. Despite being only 10 kilometers in width, it left a crater approximately 150 kilometers in diameter. The true damage lies in the fact that a 10 kilometer object falling at such high velocities all the way from space produces an explosion of 6 by 107 megatons of TNT. To put this in perspective, the largest yield of a thermonuclear warhead is around 50 to 100 megatons. A collision of this size is said to have sent shockwaves killing all major life forms in that region and sent soot and dust rising all over the world, blocking out sunlight for so long it affected ecology around the world. More than 65 million years later, scientists today are concerned a similar incident could take place and massively change humanity. For decades, NASA has been keeping track of asteroids and meteorites in space to calculate the possibility of a collision based on its speed and trajectory. From the official NASA website, reports about NASA's routine detection and tracking of near-Earth objects (NEOs) may not be as exciting as Hollywood scenarios of asteroid impact disasters, but NEO detection and tracking is a 24-7 job the agency and its partners take seriously. In fact, NASA places a high priority on finding hazardous asteroids and protecting our home planet from them. Asteroids zooming past Earth is not an uncommon event. In fact, we had one just a few months ago in September 2020 when a school bus-sized asteroid went 13,000 miles above the surface of Earth. NASA, along with its partners in the US and abroad, work 24-7 to detect, track and characterize near-Earth objects, identify objects that pose a risk of Earth impact and develop options for what is called planetary defense. The planetary defense plan is mainly dependent on what we can detect the trajectory of an asteroid and how long we have to react to it. That's why it becomes important that any asteroid that can do potential damage, even if it's decades in the future, is closely monitored. This is done by using a high-powered telescope and constantly taking photos of a certain area. The difference in the position of an asteroid between the photos tells us how fast it's moving and what the trajectory would be. An asteroid that could pass by anywhere near Earth needs to be constantly tracked since an asteroid that's predicted to miss Earth could change trajectory towards the planet should it collide with any other extraterrestrial object, no matter how unlikely it is due to the vast emptiness of space. If an asteroid is on path to collide with the Earth in less than a year, the only option would be to evacuate the impact zone and deal with any consequences of the impact on the environment. However, an asteroid that's on course to Earth but at least 7 to 10 years away could possibly be avoided by trying to change the asteroid's trajectory and move it away from Earth. 
There's a couple of ways NASA plans to do this. The first one is called gravitational deflection. Theoretically, a spacecraft hovering near an asteroid could generate a gravitational field attracting the asteroid towards the spacecraft away from Earth. Because of the large distance to be covered if the asteroid is years away from collision, even a change in the order of centimeters could create enough of a change in path to keep it away from the planet. The second method, similar to the movie Armageddon, would be to destroy the asteroid to propel the pieces away from the original path. One way would be to detonate a nuclear device or similar explosive on the surface to break it to chunks, or try to chip away at the asteroid using a very high power laser. Finally, the most effective method, which NASA is testing as we speak, is called the direct impact method. It involves crashing spacecrafts on the surface of the asteroid to move it even a few centimeters off course. NASA's first ever planetary defense mission is preparing to launch in June 2021, making sure all the pieces are in place for the spacecraft to successfully slam into the small moon of an asteroid. That mission, called the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, DART, will culminate in October 2022 with the much anticipated impact with the binary asteroid Didymos. The DART spacecraft will achieve the kinetic impact deflection by deliberately crashing itself into the moonlet at a speed of approximately 6.6 kilometers a second. With the aid of an onboard camera named Draco, and sophisticated autonomous navigation software. The collision will change the speed of the moonlet in its orbit around the main body by a fraction of 1%, but this will change the orbital period of the moonlet by several minutes, enough to be observed and measured using telescopes on Earth. DART will launch aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base, California. After separation from the launch vehicle and over a year of cruise, it will intercept Didymos's moonlet in late September 2022, when the Didymos system is within 11 million kilometers of Earth, enabling observations by ground-based telescopes and planetary radar to measure the change in momentum imparted to the moonlet. To date, NASA is yet to come across an asteroid that could threaten Earth. However, this is also due to the fact that we've only been monitoring since the 70s and the vast unknowns of space are yet to be scanned. It certainly is reassuring to know that no matter how unlikely an asteroid crash scenario is, we're prepared to deal with it.